I wanted to start by talking about speaking your truth and honoring yourself. And speaking your truth and being forthright about what your truth is because it's your truth, it's what is true for you. And that can come into play in a lot of areas of our lives. If you've got a busy schedule and you find it difficult to say no to people, you want to keep your social life going, your social relationships, and you get invited to a lot of different places. You may wind up saying yes, and then the time comes to go to the event or meet up, and you may be exhausted, you've got a lot on your plate, or you don't know why, but you just don't feel like engaging. Not that person in particular, but maybe you don't feel like engaging anybody at that moment in time. But because you've already said yes, you think, oh, well, I've said yes now, I have to go along with it. And you end up resenting yourself and you resent the other person because you're there, you don't really want to be there. So sometimes, you know, you have to say what is true for you. If it helps, you get invited out a lot, you could say, well, I've not got my diary with me right now, but let me check my diary and I'll get back to you on that. Sometimes you have to let people know, at least let people know ahead of time, look, I don't know why I'm not feeling good right now, can I take a rain check on that and we'll meet up some other time. Ideally though, you don't say yes to things when you know that you can't follow through on your word. I try my best to be a man of my word. And right now, speaking my truth has started to show up opportunities where I've been given the opportunity to honor my truth and honor myself has come up in my in my relationships. You know, I have a few relationships from my past that have started to rear their head into the present, you know, wanting to meet up with me. And part of me hasn't wanted to cut them off completely because, you know, I feel like I'm going to hurt the person. But now I just have to say, look, you know, it's not what I want. I'm very focused on the type of relationship that I want to create for myself. You know, a relationship where we're both evolving together at the same speed and able to share that journey, you know, that type of journey that where we're evolving both together, evolving back to source, you know, back to the creator. That's the type of relationship I want. And, you know, I've, I've had to say, you know, this isn't what I want. And I just want to move on. And it's felt good now that I'm able to honor myself now because. You know, I'm trying to create a lot for myself and I really don't have much time to spend on the past and things from the past. So, you know, honoring yourself is very important. And I said it in my last video, you know, honoring your values as well. If you're not honoring your highest values, you're going to feel it here in your stomach. And the voices are going to start in your head, you know, those nagging voices letting you know that, you know, what are, what am I doing this for? I don't know what I'm doing. You know, this internal dialogue with yourself, it just holds you back, you know, cut loose from that. Resolve to honor yourself. And it can be a process as well. It's not about being perfect. You know, you may have to rock and roll with this. A little bit things may feel like a little bit of a mess you may find yourself not waking up on time your environment may be a mess you know try to keep I try to keep things tidy it clears my mind but when things are tidy and the washing needs doing and that it can be easy to think oh you know I'll just leave it I'll just lie here and I'll watch this for a bit and you know time time goes you know you just got to roll with it 
stay focused on what it is you're trying, what it is, not what you're trying to create, what it is you're focused on, what your desire is, what your dream is. You know, a lot of people, they don't allow themselves to want what they truly want because they can't see how it's going to happen for them. And if you're starting to move forward with your life and creating a lot of momentum, new people are coming into your life, some people can get a little bit crappy with you. And it's a puzzle, it's like a piece missing. This is a lyric I heard. It's like a piece missing is folks' ambition. You know, pe some people don't have any ambition because they really don't see it as a possibility for them. When I started getting into quantum physics and how thought creates reality, loads of things suddenly became possible for me and I started aiming high. And my life started to change, started to believe, you know, I can do this, I can give up this, I can give up cannabis, tobacco, and some other addictions and vices that I had, I was able to give up because I realized that I have the freedom of choice, you know, the freedom to choose. So, as I've been saying before, you know, it's okay to let people go. You have to honor yourself sometimes. If you don't want to be around those people, don't put yourself around them because you're just going to resent yourself and think, you know, what am I doing here? With successful people, you'll find that there is a common thread. One of those common threads is starting the day early. You know, my sensei used to always say, the early bird catches the early worm. If you wake up early, before all the rat race has started and social consciousness has started in the air, if you wake up early, look what, just thinking about waking up early, take, I'm taking a deep breath because thinking about waking up early, it's peaceful and you're calm, you can take your time and you can set your intention for the day without rushing. There are other common threads, you know, certain disciplines, yoga and stuff, stretching, the body, relaxation, because when you're feeling relaxed, your blood flowing, your blood pressure is lower, blood's flowing, oxygen, you're getting oxygen to your brain. When you're in fight or flight, survival mode, blood goes to your arms and your legs because you're getting ready to fight and the blood is away from your vital organs. Bruce Lipton, I've got his book, Bruce Lipton talks about this a lot. Check out Bruce Lipton. You'll learn a lot about, um, you'll learn a lot from him about how you have the ability to switch genes on and off. You know, genes don't have to control you. Now, this is turning into a really long video. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you've got something out of it. I'll see you guys in the next video.